I'll tell you what. My moniker. Honest, <laughs> you are. Mark Gill is back, and this <laughs> item needs virtually no introduction. No kidding. When, when you debuted this at HSN, it created a phenomenon, because yep. I remember you and I used to smell, to smell, or sell if you prefer, because <laughs> it smells like lovely meat out here. I'll There's a segue. What. <laughs> but we used to sell turkey fryers yes, for $199. That's right. The least of what you'll do with it, this is turkey. That's the least, right. <laughs> this is a seafood feast for an army. You're gonna meet neighbors you never knew you had. I'll tell you what have a look Holy here guys we cow. are talking almost 10 years just shy of a hundred thousand sold more five-star reviews yeah. than i could possibly count and here's a couple of reasons why wow. jector and hester here right here a little <laughs> bit of butter now guys what you're going to see tonight oh, over the next uh, i don't know about 30 minutes gosh. is my chance <gasps> at the beginning of the summer here to invite you to a few months worth of the best steaks burgers dogs turkeys roasts briskets pork slams right. really doesn't matter because guys at the end of the day Day, oh, you will never wow. see a machine more versatile, user-friendly, and well-built than the Charbroil 3-in-1. And I'll tell you, don't believe me, Holy cow. hop online and have a look oh, at yeah. what so many people say. For, for sure. Now, here's the thing. If you order this at that, that seafood feast, yep. uh, you know what? I'm so sorry, Daryl. I can't see my flex pay. I can tell you it's the lowest price we've ever done it. I mean, let's start there. Okay. But my flex pay is, what, a little over $30? Looks like $34.99. Like $30, well, yeah. I'm as blind as you are. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> like the blind leading the blind. <laughs> so I'm telling you, th this first demonstration that Mark just did, yep. that's more than a flex pay. Well, and that's almost... Right uh, now. That's almost almost 20 pounds of food right there, you guys. Wow. Now, so what I'm gonna do here is we got a little bit of time, Holy so I really want cow. you to understand what this machine's all about yeah. and why it's gonna work so well for you the way it does for me. And the first thing yeah. is right here. It's the name, man. That says Charbroil. If there's a better name in outdoor grilling and cooking, I don't know what yeah. it is, right? So guys, look at this. This is powder-coated seal. This is gonna last year after year after year. Yeah. And as you follow me down here, let me show you a couple of things, okay? First things first, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hook this bad boy up to the 20-gallon propane tank you already own. Own. Right. All right. Exactly. So nothing special to buy there. Real yep. easy. And then all you're going to do is follow me down here. And there's just two buttons. Yeah. It's one of the reasons people love this machine. If you can work a hair dryer, like I obviously can, <laughs> then you can work the big easy. All you do is you turn the gas on and give it a click. Now, as soon as you do that, Shane, yeah. you engage three separate cooking technology. Right. You engage the radiant heat, which right. is like the type of heat that makes the chickens at your grocery store that you yes, love so much. Yes, exactly. You, right. You've got uh, um, a convection heat or conventional yeah. heat, like the heat in your oven. Yeah. And then you've got Charbroil's patented true infrared cooking yes. technology, and that's what it's all about. Have a yep. look here. Guys, these, they've nailed it. They've absolutely nailed it. You're going to be able to they create have oilless turkey fryers and roast. Oh, come on. And when I show you that grill plate, the infrared heat combines to give you a full 184 inch infrared grill. Wow. We're not kidding around here, guys. And everything is a basket system with the exception of the grill plate that I'll show right. you in a second here. Here's why this is special. Yes. So many times when we go to grill, unless we're lucky enough to have that giant big outdoor kitchen, you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean, with all the counters, then we do a makeshift thing trying to get ready outside with oh, our sure. burgers, our dogs, our big cuts of meat. This means you can get everything ready right. from the comfort of the inside of your house. You're all right? right. So now have a look here, guys. You never add any oil. So nope. when we're doing the oilless turkey fry, like I'm going to show you here in a second, you're not, you know, filling it up with that. And have a look here. See this ridge of holes yeah this allows the dry air to escape so you oh, will okay. never ever again say right what's with this dry chicken <laughs> right. so let's talk about what made the big easy famous okay all right and that is the oilless deep fried turkey i said it oilless deep fried turkey now deep fried turkeys are so popular because they're so good but here's the problem first thing you need is four gallons of peanut oil that's yeah. 45 bucks your turkey was 17. Yep. No numbers guy, but you know. And then at the end of it, what do you do with this? Recycle it? Yeah. Wink, wink, right? And here's the problem, and we see this on the news all the time. Oh. People take these big giant turkeys <sighs> and they drop them in hot I oil know. and it hits that flame. It's dangerous. Right. So it's guys, dangerous. There's a better way to do this. Look at yeah. this. I'm gonna go inside this one. Here's what I want you to realize. All right, I wanna see what you got No over here. babysitting. No worrying, okay. no wondering what to do with four gallons of oil when I'm done. All I have is 360 degrees of turkey perfect. Whoa! That's what that is. Whoa, indeed. <laughs> Let me go ahead okay. and set that there, and I'm going to join you. Look at that skin. Isn't that crazy? Look at that skin. Oh, Ooh. perfect. Thank you. Uh, uh, Eddie's right. got a shot on the gym there, go. too. So how long did that take? Well, you're looking at uh, about three, three to four hours. Right. And this, uh, I think we got about a 20 pounder here. Okay. And what's great about Here's this. Here's what's interesting about this, though. Uh, mm -hmm. This was a, a late, and when I say a late, late. breaking addition to my right. show, 
if the kitchen team could we'll react to this and get a turkey done <laughs> Hello. before my show, right. that's like Moses and God parting the Red Sea right, right there. That's right. And if we don't call out Eric, talk to him, and he's going to point you to this on the next you, show. You right know what? There. He will. He nailed it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is God's there truth. Go. I saw Eric earlier with a raw turkey, and I'm like, Oh, you prepping the show tomorrow? <laughs> he take, he taking a trip. He's like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what I want you to do first of all, okay? Have a look at this turkey and understand something. This is 360 Holy degrees, cow. and it is. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Around. All the way around. Oh now, if I can get everybody on the set to be really quiet for a second, this is what I want you to hear. Turkey bacon. Snap. Oh, Did you see that? On. Guys, you're going to do this because it's Tuesday. Not because it's Christmas. Yeah. Not because it's Easter. Because you get a hankering, and now you can make a turkey like this. Yeah with virtually no effort. Guys, there's less steps to make this turkey than there is to make hot dogs on a Wednesday night. I'm not kidding even a little bit. <laughs> and I don't have to babysit it. No. I don't have to worry <gasps> about it. It's done perfect Look every single time, you guys. I love, love, Holy love working with the charbroil. Cow. And I'll tell you, Oh, if this was 10 wow. years ago, we'd be done. Yeah. This is all it does. That's, yeah. But we're just starting, right. you guys. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, if there's ever a man in my life, don't buy me flowers. Don't get me the ring from the blue box store. Get me turkey bacon. Find that on a card. Just, just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she don't want a ring. She wants turkey bacon. And so does he. he. I'll just tell mm. you, this is, we're girls, we're going to get you to grill. You can't mm -hmm. screw this up. And here's the other thing. I know we referenced, we used to sell turkey fryers here for $200 at HSN. And fr by the way, it is. It's a dangerous prospect. You gotta babysit them. It's very expensive. Right. I was going to buy an outdoor smoker because I loved smoked food. Tell you what, it's not the price on your screen no for an outdoor smoker. And then they only do that. Yeah. So you can roast, you can grill, you can smoke, you can deep fry without fat. You're getting it for this show. When I say a very late breaking edition, when I saw Eric with that raw turkey and he's like, oh yeah, it's on a 10. I'm like, uh, you know that's with me, right? <laughs> that's exactly I mean, right. it's going to blow you away. That's all there is to it. So like I said, if this was a few years ago with our Big Easy, mm -hmm. all we did mm -hmm. was oil us deep fried turkeys and large cuts of meat. Everybody loved it. We took a step back for almost a year, though, and we thought, man, what can we do to make mm. this experience for our customer even better? So here's the first thing we did. Every one of these grills is going to come with this. This is your infrared emitting grill plate, okay? Have a look here and have a look at the, the tiny little cross sections in there. You can get smaller foods in there without having to get one of those things mm. to put across it. So have a look here, guys. That's gonna set right inside there. So now you've taken your roaster and you've turned it into a grill. And if you've ever gone shopping for a, an infrared grill, then you've probably run into Ooh. what a lot of people run into. I heard a loud noise, you good? Okay. <laughs> By the way, I'm it's eating expensive. turkey breast without gravy. I love it. And it's yummy. I love it, I love it. Yummy. So what ends up happening with those infrared grills is you get an infrared little box over in the corner that's good for like searing a steak or something, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And that's really kind of it. Well, this is full 184 inches of grilling space. So with Beautiful. all of the playoffs coming and all kinds of different sports and you know what, the uh, the IndyCar racing is all going oh, off. Yeah, Everybody's true. having a ball with it. Yeah. Instead of 15 bucks at the bar for <laughs> wings, try them on the grill oh, one time so and you'll never good. go back again, okay? Now, so let's go good. ahead and have some fun here, okay? This is the grill for the summer. This is, if you're a Canadian like me, the grill for the winter. This is the grill for all time, you guys. True. This is one of those grills that you're gonna have year in, year out. It's charbroil. We know yeah. the name, you guys. It's right. a big deal. So let me go ahead and set that there. I'm gonna take the chicken. Don't worry, I'm gonna wash my hands when I'm all done. Right. There we go. Now, I do wanna show you a couple Couple of very cool things, all right? Okay. Number one, you're gonna see avocado here. Try grilled avocado, you're welcome. Try it, one Ooh. time, give it a shot, you'll love it. So let me go ahead and stick that nice. there. Grilled avocado is beautiful. And here's the thing that I love to do the most. I'm gonna take a shrimp skewer here. Okay. Now, when you go out and you buy a grill, right, you end up with options so you can do small foods. Sure. Well, we've gone and we've skipped that step for you. So watch what I'm gonna do here with this shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take it right off the stick because I don't need the kebab. The smallest oh, vegetables right. are not gonna fall through this grill on you. And guys, I love that. I can't tell you yeah. how cool I think that is. So let me go ahead and salt and pepper this. And before I close this okay. and get onto our next little machine here and let this cook, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite demonstrations on live TV. You gotta watch this close, all right? If you're one of these people that wanna get into grilling, 
but you don't like the flame, the fire up, you could do without a hairdo like this. I want you to watch this real close. This grill is on, yep. it's hot, hot, it's high. Yep. Ready for this? That's oil in a hot grill. Wow. Don't you ever do that. Don't you ever do that at home because right. you know what's gonna happen, you guys. Right. There's no fire and there's no flame up None. in our grill because the heat that's encased in the outer rim here is right. what creates that infrared cooking technology. So you get all of the benefits of right. infrared, which is what all the five-star restaurant chefs insist on. You better believe right? it. But you get the ease of use, unlike anything you've ever seen in a grill. Guys, I have I do. 12 to 15 grills set up in my backyard at any time. We shoot a show back there. Oh, and wow. I've spent everywhere from 50 yeah. to $4,000 on my barbecues. And no grill at any price gives you the versatility, choice, and ease of use no. that the three-in-one does. There's nothing on the market like it, you guys, and the fact that I can grill food without the fire and the flame and the worry, yeah. wow, that's awesome. It, it is a wow. Hey, Daryl, do we have any of the additional accessories? In now, so you, Mark, you get the grill plate, plate. Yep. you also get the hooks. You're gonna right? get some rib Remover. hooks. We've got some cool ribs that we right. did here uh, in a bit. Ooh, nice. You're gonna get the shelves there that I'm gonna show you how to use. Right. And the shelves are kinda cool because it gives you a chance to configure right. your basket any way you okay, want. Okay, perfect. We're gonna give you a thermometer so right. you don't keel over. Over, okay. And we're also going to give you what you need to pull the basket out. Okay, All right, perfect. so have a look here, guys. Okay. It's been seconds, and I've already got grill marks. And that's what the infrared cooking surface is all oh, about. The speedy, oh, you got to be kidding me, results. Man. Isn't that great? And you just popped that on. We just put it on. I've already got the char marks on my peppers. It's literally been 45 seconds. I, I know. Hey, <laughs> by the way, I, when I said this was a late-breaking addition, I apologize. We, we didn't have time to add the item numbers for the additional accessories. In right. particular, the cover, the cover, the cover. I don't know if the cover Ooh. is available. Get, gotta get, gotta that get, gotta get cover. I'm just telling you right now because get, get. my charbroil lived through Irma thanks to the cover. <laughs> I mean, seriously, get the cover, get the cover because you're going to be using this for years and years and years to come. We also, I think, Daryl, you said only like a hundred of the cookbooks gotta left. Get the cookbook. um, pro actually, probably fewer than that. But ask about the cookbook mm -hmm. as well. Ooh, and your little handy dandy. Those like are full silicone Love gloves. Love these full silicone gloves, oh, man. Nice. You know, uh, you don't need them, right? but it's sure nice to have them. Uh, it saves you finding tongs, it saves you yes, finding cloths, it saves sure. you finding band-aids. <laughs> Bottom line, you guys, make sure that you've got something protecting your hands, and I love silicone gloves to do it. So okay. this machine here is designed to show you how many people Whoa. you can accommodate with this. Now, by yeah. the way, the heat, I'm digging right onto right. the grill plate with these gloves. So yeah, oh, these are the wow. real deal, you guys. Boy, even so carving up a rotisserie chicken, I almost burned myself earlier. Right, let me go ahead and nice. dig that okay. guy off like that, and right. I'm gonna take that grill plate off, and this is the part Holy that I want cow. you to see really cool, by like way, really close. By the way, only 400 pairs gloves, which All save right. there for me, I need those. Okay, so All this right. is what I want you to see, you guys. Okay. How about a dinner for 36 people in one basket? That's one, two, three, Whoa. four, five, six, seven, eight chickens. <gasps> now, eight times four is no longer 36. It's actually 32, but that's 32 quarter chicken dinner. So let me go ahead Are and just start emptying this basket out. Because here's, a, oh, by the way, ready for this? Oh, look at that chicken. I don't often squeeze chickens, <laughs> but I feel compelled. But you could. Look at that. Oh. Look at the juice, oh, you guys. Let me do that one more Mark, time. Let me do that one more time. Crazy. This is what we're talking <gasps> about. If you've wow. ever said to yourself, if I have another piece of dry chicken again, someone's gonna get it, <laughs> right? We're not, we're not, we don't have that in this. So here's what I want you to see, Shannon. Wow. These oh, baskets. Oh, I'm impressed. All have, yeah. and they all come with, it's not an option, these little half, half shelves. Yeah. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to configure your basket, all right? So you can do multi-level cooking, you yeah. can stagger it, you, you can, can do whatever you want. Yep. But the bottom line is, you guys, you can fit eight plus chickens, full chickens, no messing around, this right in here. So here's what I'm gonna do, crazy. right in half, so you can see this. Oh Because that is what you get when you use the right tools. And I'm gonna tell you something yeah. right now. I didn't think about it. No. Nope. I didn't babysit it. No. I didn't look at it. No. Nope. I didn't wonder about it. I didn't worry about it. I let the charbroil do what barbecue right. is supposed to do, man. So can I ask you a stupid question? Nice is yeah. it that infrared and that radiant heat that gives you that juice? Is that why it, it, it is juicier exactly. than other lean meat? What it does is it locks that flavor and juice in. Okay. And it cooks it fast enough that the juice has nowhere to go in time, oh. all right? Now, I will give you a hint, though. Gotcha. Always, always, always right. let food rest. Ye yes, Especially thank you. Especially steaks. Yep. You know, if you've ever said to yourself, I can never get my steak to cook like it does in a restaurant. That's a good tip. I'm gonna give you a little hint. 
let it rest a little longer, Good okay? Tip. Because yeah. what happens is when you cook food, here's here's what you got to think about, okay? You're applying the outside of the food to aggressive heat, right? Yeah. So that's going right. to cook the outside, to scare everything to the middle, right? So what ends up happening is all that juice that's sitting in the middle waiting to get all distributed, if you cut it too fast, it just runs right out and yeah. dries out. You're right. But if you leave it alone, yeah. go watch a show, man. Do something. Give it a so time out. on HSN, see what's going on. And what happens is all that juice that you've scared into the middle, yeah starts to peek back out and wander toward the edge. So if you can be patient for 10 to 15 minutes on your favorite kind of steak and you cut into it, woo. Good tip, good tip. <laughs> I love it. I'm telling you, you're gonna be cooking for, cooking for an army. And hey, if you All have right. this, please stop by and say hi. And let me just point out, because yeah. Mark and his team were so kind to, to really, you know, they were pushed to the wire to do, these presentations are not easy to do, I can tell you, because there's a They're lot not of- not easy to uh, do. <laughs> he makes them look easy. <laughs> but I, call now to get this. It is grilling season, but more importantly, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Memorial oh, Day. Oh, yeah, you will yeah, have, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're going to have this by Memorial Day and then some. You will be, trust me when I say you're going to be the most popular, you're going to meet neighbors you didn't know. Exactly. Because the smell out here, seriously, talk about bringing people right. to the middle. Right, right, you right. Smell, so I'm like, who lives down the street? Exactly. Do we know them? Because usually that smell is that place around the corner that yeah. only you know about, right? So this is where we're at right now. This is where the rubber meets the road. We yes. separate the men from the boys, whatever euphemism we're saying you need just insert it here because this is where it gets special you guys yeah. watch this grilling's one thing roasting's one thing sure. the oil is turkey frying is pretty special but come on have a look at this you guys smoking's the holy grail that's all it is yeah it really is smoking is the holy grail of outdoor barbecuing people spend a lifetime trying to perfect this and those people are angry at this machine because every one of these machines yeah. is going to come with a smoker box look and at that might this. be the coolest thing you've ever seen on an infrared grill because here's what happens you guys that turns your same grill, yep. same roaster, same oilless deep fryer yep. into a full blown smoker. Oh, this is smoker. my favorite. You know it is. So now we're doing oh. foods that you only get at specialty restaurants. So you right. only get after a lifetime right. of perfecting a craft. Exactly. <laughs> or rib fest that comes once a year once and a year. once a year only. Oh. And you know what's so interesting about that too? Oh. <laughs> Man, lobby <laughs> Man, but, but here we go. I, I'm I not really, done. I, okay, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on here. Wait a Remember, second. This is a basket system. So that Are standing you? rib roast oh, was God. marinating my brisket, which is marinating my pork, which is going to go back here because I just can't stand it. So let me meet I, you back here. I'm, the fact that I <laughs> have this much composure oh. is truly an act of the divine. Tell you what. Because it smells so fantastic out here, mm -hmm. you can't even begin to imagine what oh. you're going to achieve with this. I can feel the bubbles I'll tell you on what, my gloves. I'm getting those gloves though, I'll tell you what. Oh my okay. goodness. Can you see the bubble? <gasps> I can't, do you see that little? Here, put the glove on okay. and put your hand right. on top okay. of it. I'm cool. sorry, I'm okay. gonna unload this, but exactly. I've never felt that before. Okay. This is what happy feels like. <gasps> <laughs> it's like a little Eric's off to the side going, what? What? <laughs> Where's my brisket? <laughs> now, guys, remember those half racks? Those are going to come with your machine. Yeah. It's the only way I was able to separate oh things. So it's not goodness. something you're going to have to buy. But I want you to look at the you food. You know, I'm dying to have a bite of this. I know. You know I want to get everything out. This we're going to cut things. Uh, you know, Here we go. I know Eric and Mark and Victoria, our whole team works so hard. Woo! But when I heard they added this to my show, All I right. did the little happy dance because... I'll do it with you. Ready? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> time for some time for some brisket, guys. And I'll tell you, this is what cooking shows are built around. You hear that? Oh uh, well, yeah, I gotta do that again. That's that. Arr, arr, bark. Arr, yeah. Right. That's the real oh, deal. Let me just take man. this knife and just go right down the side. And I'm telling you. You know, Victoria's looking at us like we've lost our mind. She's like, Shannon <laughs> is, you know, Look making sexy eyes at me. Look at that. It's bubbling. It's very scary. It's beautiful and it's perfect. <laughs> that crust is amazing. Oh and Shannon, let's, let me go ahead and give you a little piece there, just oh like that. Oh my God. Guys, this is a real. I know my wife's at home watching right now going, if he doesn't bring some of that home, yeah, no I'm kidding. telling you, fluff the couch up. That's, yeah, no doubt. This is that wow. bark, those incredible burnt bits, that amazing oh taste and man. flavor. And let me tell you what made this special, guys. Holy right here. Holy cow. Have a look at my hand here. This is what made it special. Whether you choose oak or alder or, yep. or cherry or whatever it is you want, yep. the flavor that's in that wood that's released when it hits the heat of that smoker box and kisses that brisket as deep down as it can go, I, you know what, there's yeah. just no word. Uh, on the eighth day, Until God made brisket. Pork. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> you know, had the day of rest, 
eighth day brisket. Right? So it, it's it's serious. Oh, and look at that with those bear claws. You, you can still hear that crunch. <laughs> oh, I but tell you. The thing That's why I you keep work. going back to is the flavor, the flavor, the flavor, but it's moist. Exactly. And succulent. Exactly. So, and here's the best part for me. Hello. Once you, you once you get this loaded, yep. like you said, Mark. Right. This does all the work. Exactly. It that's really the whole point. does all the work. Listen, uh, you know we're having a good time in this show, mm. but the bottom line is people make a serious lifetime you gig out do. of what you're looking at here. Absolutely. Yeah. They, that's they, no joke. They dedicate it, man. They travel around the country. They hone their craft oh because God. up until now, bottom line is, is so unless funny. you had that skill set. Unless you had that particular set of Holy knowing cow. what to do, when to do it, when to add the wood chips, how to control that temperature. And I'll tell you, man, you can spend all day yes, just trying to control the temperature on a sure. smoker. But when you're talking charbroil, when you're talking mm -hmm. the three in one, when you're talking a barbecue, oh, yeah. at the end of the day, people look at this go, it's a barbecue. Right. So when you're talking about a barbecue that has sold almost 100,000 pieces on one single network in less than 10 years, man, you got something special that you got to tell people about. So when I go ahead and I got my friends and my family over and I've got my quick meal I'm and I want to do something fast and easy, I fire this up every time, you guys. Have a look at this. By the way, there's a great way to make pulled pork sandwiches. Oh, all you look, do is cut oh, the buns. Oh, that's cute. And give it one of the, I know, you're all like blinded by brisket. I was doing yeah. some pretty cool pork sandwiches here. <laughs> yeah, man. I guess <laughs> so. I know, see? Who am I to oh, judge? wait a minute. Yeah. What is wrong with me? Hold I, on. I know, Mark. It's like a signature here and I skipped it. Hold on. Have a look at this. Smoked macaroni and cheese. Let's bring it over here. Didn't he have you at Hello oh, Girls? Oh, man, look at that. Uh, I, this you. will be, if, 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 if oh, you, you are not trying Woo. this, you know, it's so funny because if you Love watch it. those food shows like yep. I do, Fire up the you, you're winning that food challenge. Woo. I mean, this is winning that food challenge. Oh, oh man. man. Here, let's have one. We have a little extra time tonight. Let's just have one. Okay. I love it. Here, you know what? I, I have know. never actually given you one of these. So oh. here, you grab one of those. I got Cheers. Okay. Beep. Guys, right. this is what I'm summer is all about. Enjoying food with your friends, with your family. Mm. Showing love through pulled pork. That's what you do. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you what. That's something. Mouth-watering? Yep. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I love. Listen, Shannon's been doing it, what, 20, 25 years? Yeah, I have. And, and nobody talks like I do other than Shannon Smith. And when I can put something in there, after all this food she's eaten, and there's silence, and something's going on, man. Let me you tell you. You know he's not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's like the only, that's the moment of silence the crew pray, prays for. He's like, please let there be brisket. Please let there be brisket. Please let there be brisket. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I better get to that uh, grill. Here, hold on. I've got Eric right. pointing at the grill. You, I, you everybody just all, made me mad with the prime rib. You take all the time you need, Mark. <laughs> you take all the time you I need. I love it. I'll just, I'll mine the food for you. <laughs> that's the Seriously, best. Seriously, I'll, I'll babysit Oh, yeah, that's ready. Okay. So oh, wow. all now, I want to do, now, Shannon. How long was that? Well, it's only been... Uh, Ten minutes. Oh, wow. uh, that, that's the that's the thing with the infrared grills, you guys. Now, remember what I said. I just gave you a big, long, boring speech about letting meat rest. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull everything off, Shannon. I'm going to join you there. Okay. Just so we can finish off that uh, standing rib roast because I went to cut that and then walked away. I got uh, three I'm million people just sandwich. swore at their TV. Don't blame me. <laughs> there we go. I know. And by the way, girls got to eat those small shrimp. Have a look at this, you guys. Nothing's falling through. You don't lose a thing. And no fire, no flare-up, no flame. I love it. Let me drop this down there. Now, Shannon, I'll be coming right back to you. Okay. Guard that standing rib roast. What I love about this machine, you guys, it doesn't matter if you've spent $60 on a lamb, 80 or 90 bucks mm -hmm. on a standing rib roast. Please trust wow. this machine to your most wow. important <laughs> meals, your biggest holidays, your favorite hosts. And watch this, you guys. <laughs> This is no joke. Okay. This is the real deal. Oh, this is why some people Mark. get up at 7 o'clock in the morning Dog so they it. can create this. That perfect Are standing rib roast me? with the perfect crust, the perfect Are seasoning. Isn't that incredible, you guys? Let me do that again. Life doesn't get any better okay. than what you're looking at right there. All right. Let's say it was Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter weekend. Yep. Uh, that's more than a flex pay. Ooh. I'm going to that, that hotel buffet. Yep. To that carving station. Right. Right? Where everybody waits in line. <laughs> <laughs> and you better tip them or he's going to give you that fatty part of the meat. Trust I me. I love it. I love it. I, I, love I it. do. I challenge you. Any any four or five star restaurant, just stack it up against that. And here's, here's what I love. 
it's it's the machine that gets you these results. I mean, obviously, Mark is an expert, and he's always so much fun to work with. <laughs> uh, I have to tell you, he's such a great guy, both on the air and off. But Aww. you know, but the, the the reality is, Mark, if if the person watching at home couldn't do this, these shows wouldn't be as much fun because then I'd know people are like, eh, well, they might not get the same kind of result. You, you know, know what? It's important to me that you were able to do this at home. Yeah, right. It really is because really what is. I want to do is, is I want to hear from you. Yes. I want you to hop on our Facebook page. I want you to Please hop on. Do. You know, hsn.com yeah. here and just have fun. Let us know how the pork turned out. Let us know how the beans mm. turned out. Let us know how the turkey turned out. Oh, Food is all about engaging and social and it fun. Is. It's meant to bring people mm. together. It's meant to give you a way to show love, to earn applause through what you do, man. Who doesn't love this at the end of a good meal? Bottom line is, this makes mm. it easy for you to do. So here we are. This is every summer, you guys. We can show you as many 24-pound turkeys, 15-pound standing rib roast, giant pork dish, giant, but at the end of the day... I'm sorry, it rained earlier, so if you see... It's right here. It's, it's, right. It's if not this a, goes, man... Right, it's not a nervous <laughs> twitch. I just, I just noticed <laughs> that... So there was let me start right here. This is that avocado. Try this, please. There's something magical when fruits and vegetables hit a grill. Avocado, watermelon, peaches, pears, plums, anything like this is out of this world. You just give that a little squeeze, it pops out, and then you can make little shavings and little slices to go on your steak, your chicken, oh, your burgers, your dog. Have you ever tried? Are you an avocado fan? I don't want to shove anything no, at you. No, like. interesting. Normally I'm not, but okay. I want to try this. Yep. Because I love grilled. Oh, here we okay. go. Grilled avocado. All right. You're okay. going to love it. Love it, love All it, right. love it. Cooking's supposed to be experimental and See, fun. See, you know what? There's something about that. It really makes everything better. I it, eat Brussels sprouts it now. It does. Right? Right? <laughs> See, <laughs> you know, that's funny. I would eat avocado like that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, well, I would. Because it's got like a little, I don't know, like warmth or smokiness to it that you don't normally exactly. get. You know, because normally yeah. if you have one, you know, cut up, I'm not, you know. Oh, and the steak. Remember what I said about letting it rest? Yeah. I wasn't kidding. You Look were at this. kidding. As I cut down with this knife, understand mm. that this regular everyday steak picks up the quality of that infrared oh, yeah. burner. And I'm going to stop for a second. Oh, I'm going to turn good. it this way because it's one thing to have all the good stuff at one tip or the end, but you know you're dealing with quality when you can take a steak and cut it tip to tail and have that steakhouse quality. Now guys, you saw me do this live. This wasn't out here when I showed up. This nope. didn't roll out on a table. I'm gonna do that one more time. Okay. This is your go to the grocery store, oh, buy Mark, a steak. Wow. Why doesn't it ever look like the steakhouse? Well, now <gasps> it's gonna. That's the real deal. Holy cow. No joke, all right? The chicken. Guys, chicken can be so dry. When you're cooking with infrared cooking technology, I yeah. want you to watch this, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this up and I want you to see this. Yeah, man, that's glistening. That's real. That's chicken juicy breasts. That doesn't happen. And listen, if you're a burger person, just for fun, let me go ahead. I'm not going to do anything goofy. I'm not going to stick an egg on it or peanut butter or tomatoes or lettuce. Any right. of that vegetable nonsense. <laughs> yeah, don't mess around with the vegetables. <laughs> right. Don't screw exactly. up a good thing. Have a look here. That was just meant to make mom happy. Look at this. <gasps> wow. You saw us cook oh, all of these live hey now. in about 10 minutes. I'm going to say it again. In my backyard, I'm yeah. very lucky. We shoot a couple of shows back yeah, there. I, know you do. I have anywhere from 10 to 15 grills ranging from $50 to $4,000 and up. I have a grill I have to hook up to the back of my minivan. No oh. kidding. <laughs> but when it comes time for every day smoking, grilling, roasting, oilless turkeys that I can't yeah. do anywhere else, this is where I go. I've been going here for 10 years years you guys 100,000 just shy of it sold more five-star reviews than ever no flare uh, flare-ups no fire no flame and the name charbroil oh, for stamped sure. on the front man you yeah. can't beat it you know what and, and mark really kind of took the words out of my mouth charbroil alone they 